Hello, I'm Graeme Steele, CEO and founder of CryptoSense, and today I'm going to talk about zero knowledge proofs. So this is the first in a series about future cryptography, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure you get the next pieces. So zero knowledge proofs, well, it's a pretty strange name. What exactly does that mean? So in a zero knowledge proof, what I'm going to do is convince you that I know something, that I have a, a, a piece of knowledge about something, something I, I have, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna convince you that I have it, but without revealing it to you, without showing you what that, that, that bit of knowledge is. Uh, so what does that mean in practice? So let's suppose, let's take a toy example. Let's suppose I want to join the uh, Maze Solvers Club, and to join the Maze Solvers Club, I have to prove that I can solve uh, any maze. Um, and the way that this is going to happen is uh, the Maze Solvers Club is going to send somebody who's going to check my ability to, to solve uh, mazes. But I don't actually want to show this person how I've solved a maze because I don't want to give away any information to them that might actually help them uh, you know, in case they're an imposter or something they want to copy my roots. So how could we go about this? Well, one way we could do it is the, the verifier, so the person who's trying to figure out if I really know how to solve mazes, could give me a maze with an entrance and an exit, and I could go in through the entrance, and then when I come out through the exit, that proves that I've uh, solved the, the maze. Uh, but the verifier was outside, so they didn't see what I did. They don't learn anything about the route. Uh, so that might convince them that I could solve that particular maze, but to get the genuine belief that I really can solve any maze, they might want to, for example, give me a maze with lots and lots of different entrances and exits, and say like, okay, well, to prove you can solve mazes, go in through entrance number three, and come out through uh, exit uh, Z. And I would go ahead and do that. And then they could set me another puzzle and another one. And eventually, the verifier is going to be convinced that I really do know how to solve uh, mazes and, and let me into the club. And depending on how much resource they want to put into this verification, so how many times they want to stand there and set these uh, mazes for me, uh, they can increase their confidence that they really are letting in somebody who, who knows how to solve um, mazes. So that's an example of an uh, interactive uh, verification, or an interactive zero knowledge proof. For this kind of mechanism to be useful in practice in cryptography, in machine protocols where we we're trying to optimize doing things uh, quickly, uh, we need uh, non-interactive proofs. Uh, but these are possible with uh, certain uh, new innovations and if we um, are okay about certain uh, cryptographic uh, assumptions. There's a particular kind of non-interactive zero knowledge proof called a ZK snark which is used in the cryptocurrency uh, Zcash, uh, which trades about $500 million of uh, worth of uh, cryptocurrency a day, uh, with really good guarantees about privacy and anonymity that come from this use of uh, zero knowledge technology. So this stuff is really there deployed uh, on the ground and doing real things. It's uh, showing its worth also in more uh, traditional, you could say corporate type business, uh, for example, mechanisms that would allow me to uh, apply for a loan, for example, with a bank, but without revealing uh, details like my salary or whatever it is that qualifies me, just proving that I'm qualified without giving that information uh, away. So zero knowledge proofs are a super exciting uh, new part of cryptography that is really being deployed in a lot of uh, places uh, right now. If you want to find out more about it, we've got a nice uh, blog article uh, re written for us by uh, Jared McGuinness that you can go through. There's a bunch of references in there to learn more about it. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel to make sure you get the rest of this series on future cryptography. And I look forward to seeing you here again soon. Mm -hmm.